From this list, we can check our hotel's daily status. This list, as long as it is opened, renews itself every 15 minutes. This sign at the upper left corner shows when it was last time renewed and progress until the next renewal. But we can refresh it at any time by pressing this button. This value is parametric and can be extended or shortened. Here we can see the expected arrivals and expected departures in the list form. Now I will return to the home page again. From here we can see how many rooms and guests are currently in-house. This screen shows expected arrivals, departures and how many rooms is supposed to be at the end of the day. By clicking on this field we can list 28 in-house or 18 rooms that are expected to come. Fewer rooms were opened in this list. The reason for this is that the number of rooms is more than one. In this screen, we can see hotel's general status, morning status, realized arrivals and departures, current status, expected arrivals and departures, and status at the end of the day. These were shown in the form of percentages. From room status screen, we can see how many room is full or free, how many is blocked, or in daily use. Here, the room's clean status is shown. On the right side, central bank's exchange rates for that day are displayed. These exchange rates can be manually changed as well. Below we can see number of guests, both adults and kids, that will have breakfast, lunch and dinner meals for that day. From status menu, age distribution of the in-house guests can also be seen from this pie chart. Here we can see a 10-day forecast. If we want, by clicking on the advanced date, we can again see a 10-day forecast for the different date ranges. Forecast can be seen in a grid view, not only in graphics. By clicking on the print button, the related screen will be printed out. Or, if we desire, it can be sent to Excel as well. There are several colors in this part. The purpose of these colors is to visually emphasize the decrease in number of available rooms or that hotel is falling short. For example, pink color indicates that we are overbooked, while yellow points out to low room numbers. I'm back to graphic view. Black color shows the closed room, purple blocked, blue full, and yellow shows the available rooms. Since hotel is overbooked, here minus value is displayed. If desired, some changes can be made on these lists, such as exclude block, closed, or similar. From this part, we can see the number of checked-in and check-out rooms by days. Total in-house room numbers can again be seen from the list in the grid form. On the right side, we can see number of repeat guests in-house and how many times they stayed. 28 rooms are staying for the first time, while there are two rooms with the third stay. This can change according to the repeater's level. In this field, it is specified whether related in-house guests are staying with the group or individually. There is a field on the reservation card we call sales blocks. If these sales blocks are defined, we consider these as group reservations. Again, there is a grid view for this list as well. On the right part, there is a number of reservations that are made today. Regardless of the date of stay, all reservations that were made today are presented at this pie chart. From this graph, we can see the total value of room accommodation expressed in hotel's currency. Again, grid view, printing or extracting to Excel options are available. This graph is prepared according to the number of sold, comp, comp house use or available rooms. As with the other lists, here the changes can be made or it can be seen in grid view. From here, we can follow the hotel's total room availability through filtering the specific date periods. The red ones show the number of rooms available in the hotel. At the end of the status screen, recent reservation flow from online channels is displayed. By clicking on cursors, we can see the short information about these reservations.